says it's preparing us, but you never know. I know that there's a little bit of a delay. Hi, everybody. This is Sharon Thornton. I'm here from Free Spirit Fabrics today. And I'm just waiting for some confirmation that we are actually live. There's a little bit of a delay. Sometimes I have to wait a little bit before they let me know. I'm really excited for our guests today. We have Scott Fortunoff and we have Annie Unrein. Let's see, no one's told me anything yet. I think it is, it said it was on. Oh, all right, so we're on? All right. I believe. Okay. I'm gonna move ahead like we're on till I hear differently. <laughs> so we're really excited today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yes, it says we're live, we are live. So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us this week on Inspired By. Uh, we are here today with Scott Fortunoff and Annie Unrein from By Annie Bags. Uh, Annie is back by popular demand. And we are thrilled to have them both here today. So thank you for joining us. Um, I'd like to welcome all of our viewers. Uh, thank you for joining us this week and every week. Please send us likes, thumbs ups, hearts. Uh, share, share this page or this video afterwards if you'd like. We'd like to let you know that we are live now. You can send us questions. And after this, we are going to post this permanently on our Facebook page. It will be on our Instagram and it will be on YouTube. And Annie will uh, post all of this, the, today's uh, program onto her social media platforms. And Scott Fortunoff will also post them to his afterwards. So you will we'll have plenty of opportunities to see us again after today or later on today, if you've missed a little bit of us as we've started. But we welcome all of you. We're thrilled that you're here and we love having you every week. And again, send us some questions as we go. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the quilt behind me. This quilt is a Tim Holtz quilt. It is called um, Hyde Park and it was made and designed by Marsha Owens from the Cotton Street Commons. And it's Tim's new collection, Abandoned One. And this collection is actually shipping this month to quilt shops. So you can see this fabric is gorgeous. It's a nice pop of color and uh, this fabric here is like a foundations, one of Tim's foundation fabrics. And if you already have some foundations, and you wanna add a lot of color, this is the collection for you. So be sure to reach out to your quilt shop and ask them if they have it or if they have it coming in or find it, go find that fabric, it's great fabric. So I would also like to uh, turn this over to Scott now. Uh, Annie and Scott, Scott, I'd like, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about, um, hold on, I have to un, uh, spotlight myself. So I'd like to, uh, Scott is gonna start talking shortly. I want to talk about the quilt that's behind Scott. Uh, we, we have an anniversary this year with the Jaff Tax, Jaff Tax companies. And Scott, I was hoping that maybe you could tell us a little bit about the anniversary and then I could talk about the quilt behind you a little bit to tell the viewers what's behind you. And then we have some surprise uh, bags to reveal that Annie had uh, designed for you. You want me to go or are you gonna yes, put- If you would like to go. So I'd like to introduce Scott Fortunoff, the El right. Presidente. And if you can <laughs> tell us um, a little bit about the Jaff Tex anniversary so that people know what we're talking about today. Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, so as Sharon said, I'm Scott Fortunoff. I'm the president of Jaftex and all of the Jaftex related companies included, including Free Spirit. Uh, I'm the fourth generation in my family business. Uh, my great grandfather started the business 90 years ago, Jacob A. Fortunoff, and that's where we get the J-A-F in Jaftex. So there's a little yeah. for you. And uh, we're just happy to be selling, celebrating 90 years in the business. Time is flying by uh, before you know it we will be at a hundred. Um, but so, you know, one of the things we're doing this year, unfortunately, you know, due to COVID, we haven't had quilt market and haven't been able to really celebrate and do things like that. But we have had uh, what we call the Jaftex Jubilee, which is really more for shop owners. And it's an opportunity for them to uh, win prizes at the end of the year. Um, and we've just been giving prizes away and just trying to celebrate the, the momentous occasion uh, for me and my family and all of our awesome employees who are doing so great uh, during these very challenging times. So uh, behind me is the quilt. Um, this one is uh, the signature quilt. It's the Mary quilt pattern designed and made by Erica Jackman.
for kitchen table quilting. It, this, um, this one is right here behind me. Uh, do they see me, Sharon? Yes. Okay, good. Um, are you sure? Because I see you and it's the boxes on you. Oh. I see you, Scott. I see you too. <laughs> no, I mean, I see you big when oh. you're talking. No, so you just put Annie on and, uh, okay. So in any case, so the quilt behind, that's the quilt behind me. So I said the signature quilt by Mary Quilt Pattern, designed and made by Erica Jackman for kitchen table quilting. And that one is right here. I hung it up earlier. And there is another one uh, from Robin Ruth that is hanging in the office. And that is the Mariner's Compass quilt. And that one is uh, really great. I, I have posts on my Facebook page and all around our social media pages of that. And it uses Tim Holtz fabrics as well. So it's really great. Um, and that's all I have for you on the 90th anniversary, Sharon. Thanks for asking. Well, that, that's awesome, Scott. Thank you for telling us a little bit more about it. I know you've been sharing it with uh, a lot of retailers and viewers along the way, and it's just always good to hear more about it. I mean, 90 years is pretty impressive. So, yeah. and hopefully between your sons and Greg's sons and Jill's daughters, the business will carry on. So that, that's fantastic. That's the hope. Yes, yes, exactly. So viewers are on, they say, we see you, Scott. and. Um, there's, there's a little bit of a delay. There's like a 20 second delay. So whenever, like whatever we're looking at on your iPad or whatever is like 20 seconds later. So just so that you're aware. So when it, any one of us is speaking, we will be the one that the viewers should see. Um, so Annie, I'd like to welcome you also here today. I don't know if you'd like to say a quick hello and a few words because I know that you've designed and made some beautiful bags for Scott in the Jaftex anniversary fabrics. I did, we did. And I first of all want to say happy birthday, Jaftex. We have loved working with fabrics from Free Spirit primarily, but it's fun to see all the other companies that you represent or that you own. And we've started branching out into some of those fabrics too. So we'll we'll see more of those coming. We really had fun making bags with this fabric. And I don't know that um you'll see it when you did it, but basically we got two main fabrics. One that was kind of a background fabric that had all the um, logos and Jeff Tex brands on it. And then the other one was this wonderful trip down memory lane with um, pictures from the past 90 years of Scott and his family and grandparents and um, newspaper articles. It was really fun to work with that. And when we saw it, it kind of reminded us of a family who um, loved life and loved adventure. So we kind of concentrated on travel bags or things that you could use uh, at home, um, family oriented, and just had a lot of fun making things. Yeah, that's awesome, Annie. Thank you. The bags that you made are fantastic. Sharon, Scott, can, I inter can I interrupt and just elaborate a little bit more on the fabric, just because I totally should have done that. And, and I feel like that's important. Yeah, absolutely. So, so just so everyone knows, so there are two fabrics. I should have had a sample. There's one over there, but I don't want to go. I have it. Okay, so there's two fabrics. Uh, there's one that has all the names of the companies that we've had over the years. So there's about 20 different companies in there. Yep, there you see Blank Quilting, Free Spirit, Andrew Knitting, A. Nathan, Jaftex, uh, Natural Fabrics. So a lot of different ones and a lot of names you probably recognize uh, some that are even well before my time. So that was one fabric. And then the other fabric that Sharon has with all the pictures came oh, here. from a I'm gonna hold them book that my grandfather collected uh, that, you know, of items that he collected. So he has all these great pictures of, and articles about the business and about the family and what was going on. I mean, one of the pictures in there is a picture of my grandfather on his bicycle from like 1921. Uh, there's my great grandfather there. There's my grandfather sitting at the desk uh, to my left and to the right is Jacob A. Fortunoff. Uh, so it's just really cool and, and just something to uh, remember, you know, what it's all about and, and, you know, all those people who came before us and worked so hard to get us where we are and continue on with that tradition. So uh, those are the two fabrics. And, and to answer the question that always is asked, we are not selling the fabrics. If you're really nice, I might send you some as we do have some extras. And uh, I think it is just some, some fun fabric. So sorry about that, but I'm glad to uh, elaborate and just fill everyone in so they know what we're talking about and they don't think it's a new design that we're offering for sale. 
No problem. Hey, Scott, when you were talking, a lot of people couldn't see the fabric, even though I was holding it up. So I just want to show it right here. So this is the uh, fabric. Grandpa's that's on the left. Great grandpa Jacob is on the right. And then if you go go down a little, Sharon. Yeah. There's the picture of my grandfather on his bicycle. Ah. 19 something. I think it says 1917. So yeah. cool. We so, really yeah. liked reading all the different newspaper articles that were in there. Um, yes. Was the uh, story about the, the woman who chased the cop or something? Was that yes. your grandmother? Exactly. No, my grandfather just had a quirky sense of humor and he just uh. put some articles in there. There's one really funny one about a, a donation of like 25 cents that was being returned because they didn't need the funds. So I always get a kick out of that one. So. <laughs> That's funny. Nowadays, that wouldn't cover the freight to send the 25 cents home. <laughs> no kidding. Exactly. Exactly. So thank you, Scott, for telling us a little bit more about the fabric. And like Annie said, it, it is very interesting fabric. And to have, you know, it, it's really a lot of times quilters will make a quilt, you know, from photographs and whatnot onto a quilt, but you actually have it in the fabric, you know, so it's very cool that it was created this way for you. So Scott, we were hoping that you could, uh, start to reveal some of these surprise uh, bags that Annie and her team developed in the celebration of the anniversary. All right. So the first one is Call Me. And this one is probably one that I would wear around Quilt Market. And I could put my, my business cards, my booth number, my wallet, so, you know, some credit cards and stuff right in here. And that one, actually, that's my brother and his two kids. So fourth, uh, fourth generation, uh, fourth generation and fifth generation. But this is great. I can totally use this, and if I travel, this is a great one to have, and just have all my important items right in there. And it has yes. a little net in the back. You can't see because it, it has this, this sign, but it has a net, so I can put my phone in the back, and it will be held right in there. So very clever, very thoughtful. I, I like what you did with that, uh, Annie. Thank you. So this is another version of it that we made in Valerie Wells's fabric. And I like to put my phone in the back. What I love about this bag is that it, you don't even know you're wearing anything. So if you're traveling and going through the airport, you can put your passport in there, all of those things. And it's just really lightweight. This is a free pattern that you can download at byani.com. And it also has a video that goes with it that walks you step by step through the whole process. This is a pattern that we consider part of our Biani Basics series. And in the process of making this simple little bag, you learn a whole lot of techniques, how to quilt your fabric, how to attach zippers, how to make your own bias binding, how to work with mesh and vinyl, and lots of little things that you need for making any of our bags but you don't have to make a great big project to learn all those. So the video is really, really helpful. And if you're new to buy any patterns, this is a really great one to do. That's a fantastic bag, Annie. I definitely have to get one of those made before our next trade show, which I hope is next year. <laughs> Let's hope. But not, yeah. looking, not looking too good right now, but we're getting there. <laughs> right. Well, there's always hope. We're always hoping. Right. So uh, Scott, do you have... Um, Yep, handle it. So I've handle it. And this one, you know, this one is great for someone like me because I'm so forgetful. If it's not connected to me, it's left behind. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I leave the house and I don't have my mask. I don't have my, my keys, my wallet. If I leave this hanging on the door with all my stuff in it, this is a, a fail proof solution to a major problem that I have. And I would probably say a lot of other men have. Uh, fair enough without hurting anyone's feelings, <laughs> uh, but this is great. I, it's really, it has these little pockets so I can put my wallet and my keys, my phone, what, whatever it is, my charger, gum, some change, my ticket to the train, and it goes right on the door and it's really hard to forget. If you forget it and have this, you got bigger problems. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So we also, that pattern includes a couple of different options. You can do it like we did yours where it has the pocket with the little ring where you can attach. Actually, I think we did yours with just the pocket because we want it to feature that fabric down at the bottom and we didn't cover want to cover it up. But you can put a little strap on there with the ring so you can actually hook your rings to it. Or you can do, instead of using fabric for that bottom pocket, you can put chalkboard fabric on there and then you can write your notes on it so you know what you need to remember. You might wonder what this little piece right here is. 
on most of my doors, they're the kind that are the levers that just go up and down. And all too often, when I opened the door, it would fall off. So we put a little piece of fold over elastic on there so that you can hook that over the door knob or the door handle, and then it doesn't slide off till you're ready to go. So that's the purpose of that. And then you may not have noticed, but on the back, that strap that's on the back is so that you can stick your mail or your newspaper or whatever you need to take. That's one thing that I often forget is uh, taking my mail to the mailbox. So there's a little strap there where you can stick envelopes in your newspaper and have it all ready to go. I like this because I can put my shopping list in there when I'm at home, when I get to work and I hang it on the door and whatever I need to buy, I can add to the list. And then when I go to the store, I've got everything handy and ready to go. So that one's called Handle It. And again, two, um, two different styles and just an easy project to do. It also has a video with it that doesn't go through the entire project. We saved the step-by-step the -step all the way through for our basics, but this one, anything that we think you need help with is included in the video. Hey, Annie, I see that there, um, Cheryl Heath has commented, she has five of those started, so. Yay, good <laughs> job, Cheryl, I'm proud of you. Yeah, are you I making know. them for gifts or um, just for yourself? Well, she doesn't say, but I totally know what she's doing because you have such great intentions of, you know, making for gifts or whatever you're making it for. So I totally know why she has so many going, but looks like you thought of every uh, possible thing, you know, that well, you could potentially forget there. There, yeah. And when, um, if you watch the introduction video for that, we show a lot of different ways to use it. One of the suggestions we had is to hang it on a um, nursery door so that you can put the pacifier in the book and the note maybe sleeping or whatever. And we think that that, you know, filled with little things would be great for um, gifts for all kinds of occasions. I made one for my daughter. She likes to journal and she can put her journal in the back and her pens and it's hanging right there. So it's easy to access. So yeah, it's kind of like Scott said, if you, if you miss this as you walk out the door or in the door, um, it's, it's not easy to miss. Yes, I, I just received a note that Cheryl said she's making it for her quilt guild, so. Oh, awesome. They'll love it. What a great gift. Yeah, exactly. Good job. And I just like to point out, I don't know if you did Annie or not, but those that you showed were made out of cave fabrics. So yes. nice selection there. We love that as well. We do too. We love capes fabrics. They're so bright and cheery. They just make you smile. That's right. They do. So Scott, do you have anything else to show us? Yes, I do. I have easy does it. This one is cool because this one has uh, the third, fourth, or second, third, fourth and fifth generation in the picture here. So Annie, ni wow. nicely, nicely done. Um, and this is a great little bag. This it, it kind of reminds me of like a dob kit that maybe I'd put my toiletries in, uh, you know, to have with me when I go traveling on business trips and quilt market and things like that. Can you show the other side of it? I think it has the car on it, which we thought yeah, was really so this awesome. One, it says December, 1936, drive to uh, Miami. Uh, hard to see what else it says, but huh. you know, another just, you know, one of my, a picture that my grandfather had and he yeah. threw it in the scrapbook. That's awesome. All right, so that one I wanted to show you in another fabric too. So this is one that we made using Tula's monkey wrench fabric, which is one of our favorites. We fussy cut the monkeys so that they're centered on each side. This also is part of our Biani basic series. So this pattern is called Easy Does It. And basically what you learn in this one is how to install a zipper between two strips, how to join the zipper strips to a side strip, how to finish the seam on that with a bulk free join so that you, you can sew it to your bag, and then how to assemble a dimensional bag and bind it. So lots of great skills in this one. And again, it goes step by step through all of those and it is a free pattern. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention when I was talking about Call Me, but it's the same for Easy Does It. Um, these are available if you go to our website to download, but we also make them available as full color printed 
patterns and we put them in packs of 25 and um, sell them to you or to stores. So they're really wonderful for stores that they can make kits. I think this bag takes three fat quarters and the, the patterns are really inexpensively priced. So a store could make these and, and have them available for people to buy a whole kit and have everything ready to go uh, to make a really easy gift. I love these when I travel. I usually take a small carry-on that I take on board the plane with my laptop and my sweater and my water. And I usually have three of these, one that has all my chargers in it, another one that has all my snacks in it. I don't know, maybe I only have two because I can't think what I would have put in the third one. But <laughs> anyway, it's been too long since I've traveled. I don't remember, but they're just awesome. They hold a ton of stuff and yet keep it really nice and organized. That's awesome. Annie. I, I feel like I never have enough little zip bags when I'm traveling, you know, for the makeup and whatever else, you know, I always need one more. So I totally yeah. know what you're saying in terms of, you know, having multiples. So Scott, I thought Annie gave a couple, uh, a good idea. You could use yours for uh, holding all the, uh, your phone accessories, you know, chargers, different totally. things like that. Those are always getting lost too, if they're not, uh, not connected. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. All right, so you want me to talk about the next one? Yes. yes. All right, so the next one is the ultimate travel bag and it's pretty big. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really get the full appreciation uh, of it, but I will tell you a lot of things that I like about it. First off, it has a, a, um, you know, a softener for my shoulder. So when my bag is super heavy, which it usually is with all the samples that I try to squeeze in, uh, that's a nice thing. It has these great buckles too. They're really pretty awesome. And they're just there's a lot of great pockets all around. I'm always looking to put, you know, pens in one area, change in another area. Um, but, you know, little cards in here in the back and then another layer in here. So it really is great. Not only that, but when you dig inside, she has this, this mesh, which I love because I love to be able to see, you know, I, I hate to like, it's almost like working in the dark when you're digging around to try to find something. It's great when you can see it and you go right to it. Um, so she's got that. And then on this side, she's got more inner, inner little pockets here that you could see here and here, uh, you know, maybe for a drink, if you could travel with a drink or, or some other, you know, food, uh, but something that needs to be stabilized. So really a great bag and it has a lot of great pictures on it. This one is one that I love. This is my great grandfather standing in front of the uh, Jaff Text window. It says Jacob A. Fortunoff Textiles, and he's pointing up to it. And look how dapper these guys are in their in their uh, hats and suits. Uh, we don't dress like that anymore, that's for sure. So this is a great bag. I really like this one. I'm I'm gonna have to use it. Uh -huh. Did they actually dress like that just to go to work, or yeah. was that a special occasion? Wow. I, no, they they dress like that. Uh, believe it or not, Annie. Uh, my grandfather. It's I don't know how many years it's been, but. He worked until about 93 and he would always come in in a suit and tie. It was just old school, I guess. Wow. Well, I remember when I started working and that would have been in the 70s, women wore dresses. You didn't wear pants to work and you you dressed up. But I don't ever remember seeing men in hats, but I do remember suits and ties a lot. Yeah, we don't do that at Biani for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do it either. <laughs> there's There's more important things to worry about. So I wanted to show you one of my favorite bags made using that pattern. This is um, using Tim Holtz's Abandoned and Provisions line. And we're going to have a special surprise for you at the end. So make sure you um, stay tuned, but we've got an announcement to make about this fabric. But one thing that I uh, wanted to mention is the pocket on the front, you've got a slip pocket here, which is where I like to put my phone, a zippered pocket here for keys and things. So when I'm traveling and I drive to the airport, the keys go right there so I know where they are and I never really get back in that pocket till I get home and have to leave the airport. But on back, when you said you might put business cards in here, don't do that because this is not a pocket. This is a sleeve so that when you are traveling through the airport and you've got your little suitcase or your carry-on bag, you can hook this uh, on top. It's a trolley yes. sleeve so that you don't have to carry this over your shoulder all the way. And you know, a guy probably wouldn't care that much, but as ladies, we don't want to have to carry all that stuff over our shoulder if we don't have to. So this solves that. So you've got little grab handles you can do or an adjustable strap and you can adjust the strap if you're short or if you want it really long for crossbody, it works both ways. So 
Yeah, on this one, we used uh, lots of really beautiful Tim Holtz fabrics to make this one. So combined with the, um, well, actually, those are all Tim Holtz, yeah. So fun, yeah. fun, fun to make. And this bag is, um, we updated the pattern just this past spring. So it's Ultimate Travel 2.0. And this is a really easy one to make. It looks big and it looks overwhelming, but I have lots of people who've never sewn before who make this bag as their first project and it turns out beautifully. It looks great, Annie. And those Tim Holtz fabrics are just fantastic. You can tell that. I should for everyone that's been watching, um, oh, here, Annie, I'll let you talk so they can see that bag. I forgot that I had this one here too. So this is another one made with Tim Holtz. Totally different look, a little lighter. Uh, this one actually reminds me a little bit of the ones we made with the Jaftex fabric, but again, a really beautiful bag. And then you'll maybe notice in the background, we have one made with Sue Penn's New Light in the Forest fabric and another one over here made with cave fabrics. So you can really get totally different looks with that bag, just depending on the fabrics that you choose. Yes, uh, those bags are gorgeous, Annie. Every single one of them looks completely different and yet it's the same bag. So that's totally yeah. awesome. And I, I think that, you know, when you look at the bags that you made for Scott, they're all trimmed up in the Tim Holtz fabrics and the Tim Holtz looks so handsome with the Jaftex fabrics, you know, the combination just look really great together along with the uh, abandoned uh, bag that you made and the additional ones that you just showed us. So it's a great, great bag. We love it. Um, I'm actually going to, I'm really going to tackle one. I told you, this is the one I'm going to make. And so now I just have to pick out the fabrics and you'll be proud of me. You'll see it one I day. I will be very proud of you. I can't wait to see it. If you need any help, five. call I won't me. I will cut out five of them. I'm going to cut out one. <laughs> it's a good idea for the first one. <laughs> yes, exactly. So Scott, do we have any other bags at any? Yes, so I have a, set, a Travel Essentials 2.0. So I have this, I, Annie, I'm not really sure what this is. I would put a bottle of wine in here, quite frankly. <laughs> I don't know, what is this for? That is for, so the Travel Essentials is a set that um, you take when you travel. The, the hanging organizer that goes with it is to put all your makeup and stuff in. This one is for your flat iron. Yeah, so, so I'm sure you use this a lot, but your flat yeah. iron, your curling iron, or when I actually first came out with that pattern, the original pattern, Jenny Beyer came to a show and she saw it and she said, you know, I would carry all my sewing stuff in there and I'd use this one for my little mini iron. So the nice thing is soft and stable has good insulative qualities. So if you unplug your curling iron and it's still hot, it doesn't hurt if you put it inside here and then there's this extra pocket on the outside where you can stick the cord. But I think it would also work great for a bottle of wine. And if it's cold, <laughs> it would keep it, you know, you could put that in your suitcase and you wouldn't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah, exactly. All right, so 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 we'll leave that part out. But so now the rest of the thing, you know, this, I would have to say this is more for a female, but you know, listen, I have toiletries as well. But again, she's got the see-through, the th see-through zipper part, so you can see what you're getting. And then she's got the netted part. Uh, so, you know, I love that because that makes it really easy. And um, it just folds right up and you close it right up. It even has a little handle on the top. A lot of great hardware, which I love, you know, little hardware. She is nice hardware, <laughs> love that. So um, yeah, this Looks is great. a great bag. Probably not the one that would be most useful for me, except if I was carrying wine around. Yep, <laughs> give it to your wife. She'll enjoy yes. it. <laughs> this one is a new one that we just actually finished this morning. We want it to be able to show it in a new fabric. This pattern, the original pattern called Travel Essentials, I think we came out with in 2013 maybe so it's a long time favorite we are trying to work through our older patterns to update them to our new layout better illustrations our newest techniques and also filming videos to go with them so this is one that we're working on that will probably be released at spring market next year um, so this is the 2.0 version of it one thing that we changed from the original pattern actually i have one here the original pattern that we made with CAIF. So um, you, you're going to see that there's not a whole lot of differences. But one thing we did is we added a pocket on the outside because, you know, you always need another pocket. And then on the inside, we changed it a little bit. There used to be facings 
that went between all the pockets and we wanted to see a little more of the lining fabric in here. So we just bound the pockets, which makes it a little bit easier to make. But we kept the mesh pocket, the vinyl pockets. This pocket at the bottom is really nice because it's nice and deep and you can put, you know, your probably your hair dryer, your pill bottles, bigger things like that inside. And then it all folds up and, you know, closes with your hook and it's easy to carry. We've got the handle at the top, or if you want it to carry it over your shoulder, you could carry it with the carrying strap too. So that mm -hmm. pattern won't be available probably until next spring, but this pattern is out. Let me show you how the inside on it looks. Um, you're gonna see it's a beautiful one too. So wow. basically the Great. same, but we've got an extra facing here and just a little bit different in how it's constructed. Annie, you do such beautiful work. I mean, they're so professionally done, well done. I mean, it, it's truly amazing. Um, I want to let you both know that Brandon Mabley is watching. Wow. All right. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Yes. Hey, Brandon. So glad that he tuned in today um, and showing off a lot of his fabrics as well. So that, that's fabulous. And um, so, Scott, yes, what else one do more we bag. have? This is called Tools of the Trade. I'm going to call it the big kahuna. I mean, I can see myself going to the office with this, with all my stuff on the train, if I ever get on the train again. Uh, really good long straps. I could put it over my shoulder. Really nice zipper little bag here. Little family picture from my wedding of, of uh, a bunch of generations. And then I could open the bag up. And, you know, as per Annie's usual, a ton of great, um, things inside with netting and, you know, area for my pencils, my phone, my cards, a drink, what, whatever. Uh, you know, this is a giant one, which would just be like my mishmash, you know, where I just throw everything that has no relation to anything else. And uh, it's great. I love this one. Awesome. Well, so let me tell you a little bit more about this pattern. This also is a new upcoming pattern, so not available yet to purchase, but we are planning to introduce this one at fall market, which will be in January. So this one will be shipping to stores in January and probably available on our website by the end of that month. We want it, we've had lots of requests over the years from people for something that they can carry their larger rulers in and their cutting mats. And so we started um, thinking about ideas of how to do it. And we have a full pattern development team here that's about six people. We meet, we try to meet every week. And when we're working on a new pattern, the first thing we do is meet and say, okay, how could we design that? And everybody brainstorms ideas. And then usually somebody goes and makes a prototype and we come back and do it. This one went through several different versions before we got to this style. And one thing that we found on this one is um, in order to hold your rulers and your mat, it needed to be fairly big, but we know that when people get to the classroom, they don't have that much table space to lay out a big bag. So my son, Casey, who's a very integral part of our business and looks at things totally different than than I do. He said, you need to design this so that it can lean against the table legs and they can open it from the top and access everything. But if they need to lay it on the table, it's not going to take up, you know, twice the size. So what we did is we designed this so that the zippers go down each side so that you can open this out and access everything that's in here. Whoops, I need to move this out of the way. Access everything that's in here but if you are laying it on the table, you can fold this down and it doesn't have to take up you know, twice as much room. So this one is the small size of the bag. There's two sizes in the pattern and this will hold an, a 12 by 18 ruler, I mean mat, or if you're lucky enough to have one of these awesome folding Omnigrid mats, this one folds in half and it's a uh, 18 by 24 ruler that also, or mat that also fits in. And then you can put your rotary cutters, your rulers, extra things in here. And then on this side of the bag is a nice big mesh pocket that you can put your fabric and your project in process and all those other little things. We know what it's like when you go to class and you're carrying the kitchen sink with you. So we part of the reason we designed this bag is also to hold our um, project 
are pocket packers. So this is a pattern that we came out with maybe a year ago for bags that you can put all your little things in. And we purposely designed this bag and you're not gonna be able to see this. I'm gonna lift it up in a minute, but we designed it so that it perfectly holds the pocket packers. You can lay that in there and use that to further organize tools and supplies. So wow. um, Scott, you said you're going to call this the big kahuna. Let yeah. me show you the big kahuna. <laughs> so as I said, this pattern includes two sizes. So that's the small one. This is the large one. And we designed this to carry again the 24 by 30, I mean the 18 by 24 inch mat, a 20 and a half inch square ruler, which is the ruler I use all the time. And I have nothing else that that will fit in and just a ton of stuff. People who do artwork, um, this would be great for their big boards, their big sketchbooks that they use. Our um, One of our employees here is an artist and she says, this would be ideal for me to take to my figure drawing class because I can put those great big sketchbooks in and the big boards and things that we use. So watercolor artists, anybody who's an artist would really enjoy this bag as well. Wow, that's, that's an awesome bag. And Annie, I just wanted to let everybody know also that that fabric is for, from Anna Maria Horner, and that's an upcoming line of hers called Bright Eyes. Yes, so that's you, the same fabric that we used on the Travel Essentials, and we loved that fabric. It is so much fun. Yes, and you guys whipped that up quickly, I have to say, because <laughs> that fabric just came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been, we've been busy sewing this past week, but uh, Mindy said that once she uh, made one on this, this took her about five hours to sew. So it's not, uh, mm -hmm. that's once everything's cut out, but it's not a huge overwhelming project. We've been really tickled with how easy these things come together. And this zipper that goes down the side, um, you know, when you think about that, that might be overwhelming, but it's amazingly easy to do. So fun, fun mm -hmm. bag to make. And again, this won't be available until the end of January, but make sure you're signed up for our um, newsletter list so that when we come out with it, we'll know. I have one other thing that I want to show that um, we didn't make one of these for Scott. But this is a, we're doing right now in the month of October, a special initiative for breast cancer. It's called So Pink. And we designed this pattern um, to um, go on a seatbelt. So a lot of women who've had breast cancer and had surgery, or not even necessarily breast cancer surgery, but other surgeries where they might have a chemo port put in, they have a difficult time with a, so, a seatbelt rubbing on those areas. I actually have found that because I'm short, the seatbelt always hits me up here and rubs and I, I hate it. So I end up not wearing my seatbelt all the time. Oh, this solves that, that problem. <laughs> I have worn my seatbelt every day since I put one of these on, but basically it has a little belt wrap here that you can open up and your seatbelt goes through there and then you Velcro over it and it just makes it more comfortable. But this again is a free pattern with a video so um, people can walk walk through that. And if you're looking for something as a donation to give to breast cancer treatment centers or something, this is a really fun one to do for that. And again, this one we made using Tula Pink's True Colors and her line work. Uh, we loved being able to fussy cut those um, pandas and center them right there on the front. So another fun one to do. Wow, that's really awesome, Annie. It's, it's amazing all of the patterns that you guys have. And you know, did you ever think that when you were sewing, you would need all these engineering skills to, you know, create? <laughs> For sure. Never, never. I, and, in my previous life, I was an accountant. And I think that comes in handy because I like things organized and in a special order. But, um, and I loved math, but I never got into the, the high math, you know, the calculus and all that. And every once in a while, I have to call my son or my son-in-law and say, you know, how do I calculate this and figure this? So there's a lot yeah. of math involved in figuring things out. No, definitely. And, and that's a really awesome project that you just showed us for the seatbelt. I mean, that that's, I'm sitting here thinking how smart that was to create that. So uh, we actually had a customer whose daughter-in-law had um, the BRCA, BRCA gene. And so she decided to do the breast cancer, have her have a mastectomy, a double mastectomy to prevent get it because for her it's not a question of if she will get it but when she will get it and mm -hmm. so they had been making these and suggested it and we worked together to um 
kind of refine the pattern and make it a little more of an Annie pattern. And so, yeah, I have to give a lot of credit to them. And her name is Carolyn Gibbons. And I forget, Carolyn Gibbons is her name. I forget what the daughter-in-law's name is, but it's all on the pattern and we put it all in there. So wow. I'm old and don't have a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you have a great memory. So thank you, that's, that's a great design. And thanks for sharing that with us today. Thank you. So um, Scott, are you, I'm not sure if you're looking at the Facebook or not, but I'm not. I'm not, seeing, I'm not. All right. So I'm not really seeing a lot of questions coming through, but I am seeing people being very complimentary and loving the bags and loving the different fabrics and what a great design. And um, Scott, you got a lot of kudos in the beginning. So I, I know that, I, I think that there were a couple of people saying something about uh, loved your curling iron bag. I mean, <laughs> or your flat iron. <laughs> my wine bag right so I, I like how you've repurposed it it's it, it's fantastic but I don't see any specific questions uh that are popping up right now for me to ask so um I think that we're just about wrapping up for today Annie do you have something else you want to show I do I want to talk about the giveaway we're going to do yes so do you want to do you want to start or do you want me to I want you to Okay, so we decided for everybody who's watching today, we wanted to do a special giveaway and Sharon's gonna tell you what you have to do to qualify, but we um, are, they are going to provide fabric to make this gorgeous ultimate travel bag. And we're sending you all the supplies you need. So you've got the pattern, the soft and stable, which is what we quilt our fabrics to so you, that your bag stands up and holds its shape. Um, shape flex interfacing, zippers, strapping, there's hardware in here to go with it, a base stabilizer to put in the bottom to keep it nice and sturdy so that you can put all your stuff in there and carry it. So somebody lucky, lucky, lucky is going to win this. And Sharon, can you tell us what they have to do to qualify? Yes. So thank you, Annie. That's an awesome gift for somebody to get with the ultimate travel bag. And we're going to send the fabric that's exactly like the bag that Annie just showed for the ultimate travel bag with it. And the question for today is what year did Jeff Tex purchase free spirit fabrics? So there'll be a lucky winner out there. Um, I, Sarah will pick a lucky winner for that bag. Uh, you know, she has her ways that she finds her, the winners every week and she will select a winner for that. And um, I'd, I'd like to thank uh, Lindsay and Nancy because they've been answering questions on behalf of Free Spirit Fabrics today. And uh, Annie, I know that you, someone from your team has been answering some questions too because I saw some, you know, some replies in here. Yep, um, thanks to Trevor and Brooke. Yes, and to Trevor and Brooke, absolutely. And it looks like, oh, everybody's excited. They love the giveaway. They want to be picked, but they have to answer the question. You have to know what year the Jaftex purchased Free Spirit Fabrics. Scott, don't Sharon, give it away. Sharon, give Sharon, you could pick two. Lindsay could pick another winner and send me an address. I just got a bunch of nice pre-cuts to my house, and I'll, I'd love to send some pre-cuts to someone, maybe some Jaftex fabric. Um, what do you guys want me to do with all these bags? Am I keep, do I get to keep them? Yep. Oh, yep. wow. Awesome. You get to keep them. So enjoy using them. Um, and awesome. thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And I just want to say again, how much we have really, really, really appreciate it working with Free Spirit. And we look forward to working more with you. And thank you for coming to the rescue of Free Spirit, whatever year that was. I'm not going to spill the, <laughs> spill the beans either, but um, we, well, we, we love it. Well, let me say, uh, Annie, we love you too. We appreciate everything you do, your partnership. Uh, you know, there's so many people, who, you know, who we work with and have great partners and you are, you know, one of them and we really appreciate it. And I know our team loves working with you. Your products are, are really awesome. And uh, I'm looking forward to using all these bags. I think we're gonna have to take a photo with everyone. We'll have to have uh, a little bag and we'll send you some nice pictures. But thank you great. for being a good friend and a good partner. Um, we really value you very much. And thank you all for being here. Um, thank you, Sharon, for uh, you know hosting. You are the hostess with the mostest. Mm -hmm. And thank you, everyone who's behind the scenes. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time. Um, so that's all I got. I'll give you guys all a peace sign and thank you. And thanks for being a, a Free Spirit fan and a fan of all of our companies. Great. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Annie. And thank you to everyone that tuned in this week. We hope you enjoyed it. And until next time.
next week. We'll be back next week. So thank you, Scott. We really appreciate having you on this week. And Annie, as always, we enjoy having you. So to all our viewers, thank you for tuning in and we'll see everybody next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks so Bye. much.